Okay, question 25 was as follows. In the diagram below, PQ and QR are straight lines. Angle QPR is equal to angle QST, which is equal to 90 degrees. PS is equal to 4 centimeter and SQ is equal to 8 centimeter. So you can take time and look at the diagram. Then after you have done that, you can now go to the actual question now, which is find in its lowest term the ratio of A or 1 PS to SQ, 2 PQ to SQ. Okay, so what we need to do is we go back to the diagram. So we look at the value of uh, PS, which is 4 centimeter. So we can write 4 centimeter there. Then we also look for the value of SQ, the length of the length of SQ, which is eight centimeter. So we can say four centimeter to eight centimeter. Now remember, ratios are not supposed to have units, so we're going to get rid of units. I will just did this so that you can understand where which numbers we are getting. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of uh, units now. When we look at the question, the question is asking us to write the ratio in its lowest term. So we need to find a number that can go into 4, the highest common factor of 4 and 8. Then we use that highest common factor to divide 4 and 8. So the highest common factor of 4 and 8 is 4. So we're going to divide 4 by 4 will give us 1. Um, 8 divided by 4 will give us 2. So now we have written the ratio in its lowest form, which is 1 to 2. 1 to 2. Okay, so that is the ratio of PS to SQ. Now we go to question number two, which is we write the ratio of PQ to SQ. So the value of PQ, as you can see on the diagram, is the distance from P to Q, which is uh, divided into two parts, which is eight and four centimeter. So we're going to add four plus eight, which will give us 12. So the, the value of PQ is 12. Remember, I said when writing a ratio, you don't write units, so I'm not going to write units. Then we're going to say 12 to 8, because the value of SQ is 8, and that's what we found earlier on in the first question. So that is the ratio of uh, PQ to SQ. Okay, so now we will need to reduce this uh, ratio into its lowest term. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a number that can go into 12 and 8, and that should be the highest factor. Okay, the highest common factor of 12 and 8 is 4. So 4 into 12, it's 3. Uh, 4 into 8 is 2. So the, the ratio in its lowest term of PQ to SQ is 3 to 2. Okay, now let's go to question 26. Question 26 is uh, Mrs. Kalingwe bought the following items, 3 kg of sugar at T, 11 kwacha per kg, 1 kg of onion at 9 kwacha per kg, 2 kg of beans at 20 kwacha per, per kg. Then the question is, how much was her change if she had 90 kwacha? Okay, so Miss Kachingu had 90 kwacha and she bought these items. So let's find the how much she spent before we look for how much the change was. So at first we are told she bought 3 kg uh, of sugar at 11 kwacha per kg. So we're going to write 11 kwacha. Then we're going to multiply it by 3 because she bought 3 kg when 1 kg was sold at 11 kwacha. So she bought 3 kg. So we're going to say multiply by 3. Then plus uh, 1 kg of onion is 9 kwacha. So we're going to say plus 9 kwacha. Then plus 2 kg of beans and uh, a kg of beans is sold at 20 kwacha so she bought 2 kgs so we're going to say uh, 20 kwacha by 2 then we <coughs> evaluate what is in the brackets first so we say 11 kwacha times 3 will give us the 3 kwacha uh, which will be added to 9 kwacha of onion then 20 kwacha by 2 will give us 40 kwacha so you say plus 40 kwacha okay so now we have evaluated what was in the brackets. Now we can go ahead and add, and add these. So 33 plus 9 will give us 42. 42 plus 40 kwacha will give us 82 kwacha. So I, he had 42 kwacha. He spent, she, pay, she spent 82 kwacha 
now she had named Kwacha. So we are going to say, uh, we're going to find out the change, which is going to be 90 kwacha minus 82 kwacha, which will give us 8 kwacha. So the, her change was 8 kwacha.